we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Hey friends, welcome back to another monthly grocery trip. So if you're unfamiliar, I do monthly grocery shopping for a majority of our month every month. It's not always to the same place, but I like to take you all along with me and you all seem to enjoy seeing the hauls and the process of doing this. So today is actually a really busy day for us, but since we're gonna be gone in the morning, I decided why not include my Costco trip in today. This morning we actually have our homeschool groups co-op and our daughters actually go somewhere else and take classes with other kids and have other moms as their teachers. So it's always a fun day, but it does take up a good portion of our day. And I decided why not do Costco after we're done doing that. This month we are going to be going to Florida to see my parents again for a little while. So it's not quite the whole month, but I'm hoping to keep my Costco total around $300 or a little bit less. So I will let you guys know that total whenever I'm done with my haul. So let's go ahead and get this day started. So we live in central Pennsylvania and obviously we're coming out of winter and welcoming spring. And it was so exciting to see all of the spring and summer finds that Costco had to offer. They had lots of pool toys and beach toys and towels and like little blow up sprinklers that your kids can run through, spring and summer clothing, backyard, accessories, things for camping and for, you know, those campfires and things like that through the summer. So that was all really fun to look at and to keep in mind for my next trip to Costco. They even had gazebos set up and tents and outdoor patio eating areas and outdoor rugs and pillows, all of those things. So if you haven't been to Costco for a while and you get a chance to stop in there, you might wanna keep this in mind if you are looking for outdoor furniture and things like that. Now I get questions all the time about vacuum sealing uh, machines for food because I do use them quite a bit in my freezer preps and things like that. I personally use a food saver brand. I've tried off brands and they generally break and end up not working, but this food saver vacuum sealing system is a crazy good price for what all you get in the kit here at Costco. So definitely jump over to your Costco if you're looking to get a vacuum sealer for food. So along with all of the outdoor things, they had things like fountains and other lawn accessories or patio accessories set up. This one was really cute, so I thought I'd show it to you all. And then I decided to go ahead and get all of my fresh produce first. Their prices are just so good, and especially whenever it comes to their produce, and generally it looks really good as well. So we just went through, my daughter was with me, and we got our freezer stuff. I had a good list of what I wanted, so we just went through and grabbed everything that we needed for this month. I just unloaded the car and I'm going to go ahead and set everything up on the counter so you all can see everything better. I did actually have to go to giant food stores. I don't know if those are everywhere, but in our area, they are a pretty common grocery store because there was a few things that were on my list that I couldn't find at Costco. If you guys have watched me for a long time, then you know I am a drink girly through and through. I like iced coffees, I like refreshers, 
all the things and my girls have inherited that well <laughs> so we picked up some boba tea and after i'm done with this haul i'll show you guys how we make it but costco has this pack i think that there is four yep four flavors and one of them has four in that flavor and then the rest are just two but it comes with the straws as well to be able to drink up the boba bubbles and then what we like to do is mix it with milk. I am very rarely do I buy regular milk. We're mostly an almond milk family, but there are a few recipes that I wanna make this month that I need some milk for. And then also I knew we would end up using it in this. So I went ahead and grabbed a gallon of whole milk from Costco. I'll try to say if it's from Costco or Giant as I go along. We needed some gluten-free flour and I like to buy the King Arthur brand. It works so well and I needed a bunch of it for this month, so I got four bags of it from Giant. I also found something that, now that I know that this exists, I'm going to actually go on Amazon and see if I can buy a case of this because we love egg noodles. My husband and I both grew up eating them a lot and I haven't been able to find a gluten-free version. And here Jovial has started to make them and I'm going to be making some soups for the freezer this month. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We love that for um, Alfredo, for really any pasta dish, egg noodles are our choice. So I'm super excited to try these out. I got some tortillas to do burritos, breakfast burritos for the freezer. And we really like the spinach and herbs, so I was excited to find a gluten-free version of that. A nice big onion for a recipe that I needed some purple onion for. And then I grabbed these here at Giant. This was from Giant, and this was from Giant, by the way. These are not from Costco. Just wanted to clarify that. These here I'm going to be using in some recipes this month. Now the sharp cheddar is from Costco. It's a great price and it's a nice big block. And the last time that we were in Florida, if you guys remember in that haul, I got some of their sliced cheddar and it's very, very good. So highly recommend. And then I grabbed these two at Giant. This is just some hot sauce for a recipe. And then we are huge um, kinders, kinders fans we use their spices seasonings and all of their other sauces and i've never tried their teriyaki sauce and i'm going to be making some bowls in a meal prep soon with that so excited about that this is something that i feel like everybody that shops costco buys and i've never bought it before even though i've shopped costco for years um but this is their massive like i don't even know if you can see how big this is it's huge huge bag of chocolate chips We've been out of chocolate chips and I've been buying smaller bags here and there, but I love buying things in bulk. So we're gonna give this a try. We needed OxyClean, that is a staple in our house and Costco is one of the best places to get it from. Here is sour cream, another staple in our house from Costco. And then this is just the big Costco box of trash bags. I love their grass-fed butter. You all know that if you've watched my other hauls, I will put that into the freezer and we'll just pull out blocks as we need it. This here, I just grabbed some organic chicken breast. It's not my favorite brand of chicken breast. I don't usually like getting chicken breasts that have been washed in water because generally it is bleach water. If you do your research, you'll learn about that. But I like to buy chicken breast that is usually air chilled, but I needed some for this month and decided to just go ahead and grab their organic. And the pack was a little wet on the bottom, so I slid it in here. I'm not sure if it was leaking or what was going on. So that's why it's in this Ziploc. I got a jug of avocado oil. I need to do another comparison. A lot of times I get the big jug from Amazon of their avocado oil, but I knew this month I was gonna need some more and I need to do a refreshed comparison of the price for this versus the one on Amazon because I noticed the price changed on Amazon. So I just went ahead and grabbed this jug while I was there because this is the oil we use the most in our house. Got some maple syrup because we've been doing pancakes lately. And then I got some fruit to do some fruit smoothie bags. I like to do those um, and throw them in the freezer. I also got a bag of mixed berries that I already put into the freezer and a bag of frozen green beans that I put in the freezer as well so they're not sitting up here. But the mixed berries I will probably use in this as well. I had raspberries and blueberries in it and some bananas I got from Giant. So the strawberries were from Costco. 
bananas from Giant. The strawberries at Costco are a super good price right now. This broccoli was from Costco as well. Again, a really good price and it's already, you know, kind of prepared for you. So I have two different recipes that I'm gonna make this next week with fresh broccoli. The good old pack of toilet paper that we always get and sometimes I even get two if I'm not gonna go the next month to Costco, but super good price. And then I decided on these peppers. They did have regular size bell peppers, but these are so sweet and I'm going to be making some fajitas and stuff. Decided that those would be really yummy in that. Their pineapples were a good price and this is huge. Like I don't know if you can truly see how big the pineapples were, <laughs> are, but Costco was a super good price. And I also got a big bag of onions to do diced onions for the freezer again this month. I did that last month and we've been using them so heavily that I just decided I'm gonna do a bunch more um, in my freezer prep this month again. And then just some eggs again from Costco. So I think that pretty much everything here is from Costco, except for these items, these and these and then the wraps. I think everything else, oh, and the bananas, because the bananas at Costco were not um, ripe, so, and I wanna use them pretty soon, so I got those at Giant, but everything else is from Costco. The only thing I didn't mention were these outer aisle sandwich rounds. I've gotten these for years. They're so good, they're gluten-free, and they hold together really well to even make like a sandwich melt, so love those from Costco. But overall, I'm really happy with my haul from this month. I think this stuff is gonna last us a while. If you are curious with how I store a lot of produce and things like that for a month, I'll leave that video linked below. That's a highly requested video for how I make things last a long time when I'm only grocery shopping once a month. I thought it would be fun to show you all how we make this boba tea. I have had it before and its flavors are just so good and it comes with the boba straws. So if you're unfamiliar with boba, it's basically an Asian style tea that they put these boba bubbles into and they are made from tapioca. So they're jelly and a lot of times they have a flavor and they taste really good. Plus, as you can see, we have the big bag of chocolate chips on the counter because we were snacking on those. They are so delicious. I understand the rave now. I understand why everybody says get the chocolate chips at Costco because they are just a great flavor and a good deal, of course. So. Here I'm just taking the packets of the boba tapioca bubbles and we're putting them into some really hot water. And the nice thing about this is these, or some of these are milk teas, but you get to choose what kind of milk you're putting in with them. And as you can see, my daughters had a lot of fun helping me with this. We love boba in our house, all of us do. And it was fun for them to help make it since we weren't at a boba shop ordering it and it's been a while since I've gotten it so they didn't remember how we make it. So while the bubbles are in hot water, you just take a small amount of hot water and mix it with the little packets of the powdered tea and you just let it kind of dissolve in that hot water. You can stir it around and so I just did that in the bottom of these glasses and then you're gonna add ice to those along with the boba and then you get to choose your milk depending on which type you're making. Not all boba or bubble tea is made with milk but a lot of it is a milk tea and it's just so satisfying and sweet and yummy and it's something I actually want to learn how to make from scratch by getting the boba and then creating my own tea mixtures and even the little jellies that you can get in boba shops are yummy too. And we have been doing so good around here. We are getting into the last portion of our homeschool year which is great of course and the weather is warming up around here which brings a lighter mood for sure, at least for myself, I miss the sunshine for sure in the winter months, but going to Florida every once in a while to see my parents has definitely helped that vitamin D kick <laughs> and helped to lift my winter blues a little bit. And these types of drinks always bring in the summer feels for me when it's a yummy iced drink. Now, you don't need to have a Costco membership to get boba. I, in fact, I will leave a very similar 
kit from Amazon linked below if you wanna try out doing this. So the one all the way on the left is actually a fruit green tea and it's not a milk tea. So we just added extra water to it in place of the milk, but all three of these were super, super yummy. So thanks a lot for hanging out with me today. Um, I so enjoy seeing your comments and connecting with you all. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and I hope to chat with you all in the comments and I have lots of fun content coming up to share with you and I'll see you all in my next video.